Hi, I'm Mary Francis. I'm 27, and I like my men hunky and chunky. And I want to be on The Bachelor. I was born and raised in Wichita, Kansas, and I'm from a big family. I have three brothers and three sisters. Growing up, um, we learned lots of values from our parents. Uh, being a strong family together, being very supportive, the boys were always protective of us girls. And at the same time, we always had fun together. It was always us together. Growing up, we lived in a small home and things, things were chaotic. Now that we're older, we are still the same. We're crazy, we like to have fun, we joke around. It's just a great time, it's always a great time. It's about family with us. Although it's fun to grow up in a big family, it also makes it hard on dating. So in high school, I was really committed to playing basketball. That was my thing, that's what I wanted to do. As well as my older brother and I went to high school together. So I knew off the bat coming into high school that I, again, needed to watch what I did, who I talked to. He was very protective of me. So by the time I got into college, I had a lot of freedom, except for the fact that I was still playing basketball. And so I, that was when I got into my first long relationship, and that was with my daughter's father. We dated for a year and I thought I was in love with him. We found out we were having a child together and that's when it got really rocky. Um, he made his decision about what he was going to do and I made a decision about what I was going to do in the relationship and we decided that we were gonna separate ways. After that relationship, it was really hard for me to date again because I was a single mom. My main focus was my daughter and completing college. Throughout college, I dated, but none of my family knew about it. The relationships didn't work out because I was too independent. I never wanted to get attached. After I graduated, I was in the workforce for a couple of months, but during that time, I decided to pursue my postgraduate in social welfare. I was accepted into the University of Kansas, and I graduated with my master's in social welfare. During that time, again, I tried dating, but it was secretive. No one knew about it. And again, the relationships didn't work because I was too independent and got caught up in my emotions. I didn't want to have an attachment because I didn't want to get hurt. As my daughter got older, I decided that I wanted to party. I, I didn't have that. I missed it. I wanted it. So that's what I did. I also wanted to be in a relationship. And so I thought through partying, I was going to find some guy at the bar to end up being my boyfriend. So that's what I did. So going to the bars didn't help me find a relationship. It only created alter egos. Hi, I'm Martha, up in this house, girl. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Girl, you didn't make this strong enough. You know I need more liquor than that, come on. How are we gonna have fun? After Martha goes to town, then I have to pick up the business. I have to handle all of her problems that she started. Uh, what do I love to do? Oh my gosh, I love to dance. I love to dance. Mm, mm, mm. Stop, Martha. Stop it. I'm sorry, maybe I need another drink. Hold on, just give me a second. <sighs> Ooh, no, I need to leave. I need to leave. What I'm looking for in a guy is someone who is serious, someone who is respectful and goofy. I also want him to value faith and family. Hi, I'm Stacy. What do I like in a guy? Wow, you have to get me the bows, okay? And the purses, and the shoes, and the watches. Well, hello, my name is Sister Mary Frances. And the blazers, and what else? Honesty, integrity, patience. Shopping, 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 shopping. And all those qualities are well, God. I guess I found my man. God. <laughs> I lost my freaking phone. Where is my phone, guys? Where? I don't even... Not only does he have to love me, but he also has to love my daughter. My daughter, I've given her the nickname Burrito. 
any guy that comes around her. Actually, no guys come around her unless I approve it. That's all I have to say. Burrito. She's the greatest gift from God. I just get so emotional, baby. <laughs> and the holy angels surround her beauty. Burrito is my everything. She is my world and I would do anything for her. We have the best times together. She loves to go swim, she loves to go bowling, and girl loves to eat. Brito is the best thing that has ever happened to me. She's super knowledgeable, super fun, super energetic, and every time I look at her, I just can't believe she's just like a little me. These bad boys are loaded and I'm not afraid to use them. She just surprises me every single day about what she says and what she does. Like the other day we had a wedding for her dolls. Like who does that? Plans the wedding shower, the wedding, and the honeymoon. Burrito and I do that. So um, like that. that's Burrito in a nutshell. Maybe a tortilla wrap? <laughs> now that I'm older, I need someone and want to be with someone who can be a good father to her, and she deserves that. What a father can give to a daughter, a mother cannot. What a father can give to a daughter, a mother cannot. And I know she needs that. So not only am I doing this for myself, but I'm also doing it for her.